Hello everyone and welcome back to the Burgundians campaign in Attila Total War. My name is Ben Pope. We're looking at our wonderful big city of Cotescanza. There's a fire burning out there. Uh, people are having fun by the fire, of course. And uh, I have some good news and some bad news. <laughs> good news is it's another episode of this campaign and we're doing pretty good. The bad news is, is I recorded about or an episode worth of... Uh, footage without my microphone being on so I'm not going to use that so we're skipping forward uh, to what it is right now it's autumn of 404 AD I think I probably went like five or six turns in the previous recording which I am discarding uh, so what happened our army is ready and replenished and probably gonna head back down here as soon as I have the money to colonize Oyum we're gonna put them in a fortified position I think that's gonna help us with some stuff and uh, what else happened uh, we successfully we spent our money oh right since we're in diplomacy let's go to that we successfully got trade agreements with the Venetians and the Utes so we're making some more money off of trade the uh, Caledonians and the Britons have paid us a thousand each for a peace treaty, so that's a good improvement there. Their forces uh, have landed over here and are raiding the Geats at Bracara. But uh, at the same time, because the Geats are a uh, what's it called a client state of ours, the peace treaty, when negotiated with us, it was also negotiated with them. So they're at peace. But they're still there raiding. I wonder if they're going to leave. If they uh, turn on the Geats at Prokara to take that land, then I'm forced to enter war with them again. Stuff like that, you know. I'm, I'm sending back my navy that, uh, down there for it to help. And I'm probably going to have to improve that army. In um, this area, we uh, played around... With governor, with the governor, and got him some public order bonuses to keep this steady. We also enlisted a general to keep more public order steady at the Um and we built a farm for food, and we sent our forces up here and colonized Augusta Threverorum. Of course, these are names we can change, but I don't feel like we have to change them. I feel like I feel like it's okay. We can just leave it. We don't have to change it. You know. Um, so that's pretty much all that happened. We didn't have any fights so far. So let's just get going. We're going to end the turn. Um, and I'm aiming to do a couple of things in technology because we have this and there's wood. Um, I guess, I guess I'll be able to build the specific wood building. Uh, as soon as it's available, um, getting the burg, the first part of the city right now, uh, which will allow us to, um, will give the timber to upgrade our chieftain's hold to a keep, uh, but it also needs the royal council, which in technology, it's over here. So we're finishing up the tools and customs and then most likely we'll get the royal household to get this. I'm not sure if I need it right away, but in some parts it's just nice to upgrade that and have the public order bonus so we don't have to worry about it. We're also upgrading some buildings here, mainly the farms. Uh, we wanted to get more food and now we're having, we're having 155 because of the current events such as, you know, it's it's autumn, so uh, there's probably a food plus, there it goes, from autumn harvest. So, you know, that's helping. But in the winter, it was like 40 food, I think, which is pretty low. I don't want to have to run out of food nationwide. There is our navy going back down. So yeah, I mean, I you know I was gonna use that footage and just be like, yay, we did something, uh, and then I noticed that the sound of my voice is missing, and I cried inside. Of course, I'm a man, so I don't cry out loud. 
unless I unless it really hurts. Uh, let's see if the Huns will bring us any. Oh, they haven't. They're gonna keep going. Surprises is what I'm expecting. I've, I've had surprises with with uh, the Huns before. They want a non-aggression pact, but they want me to pay money. I think we'll just we'll just ask you for uh, non-aggression this way, and you're probably gonna be like, nah. And I'm like, yeah, I still don't want to pay you. So then you're like, oh crap, they're not gonna get any money. I guess I guess I'll just not have a non-aggression pact. Of course, the Venetians have been beaten back, most likely by the Huns. All the territory down south of, of them and around them is desolate which is why I'm, s I'm sending my faction leader down to grab one of those land masses for ourselves okay so let's move these guys uh probably put them in the town for more more public order i'm not sure how much it's going to help but let's wait for it and see from seven to nine oh that's good that's probably good because if i have to um if i have to go and help yeah. the geats down here it will be will be okay. I mean, they're... Yeah. That looks like they lost a general. Possibly taken out by this. I think my uh, units are equally as equal as good, maybe. Germanic spearmen. I don't know. These guys seem to be a bit more expensive. Okay. Let's see, what we can, what can we do? We can do something here, maybe? No? We can upgrade the farm. But I think we'll keep the money. I don't want to... I don't want to expand too far too soon. If I grab this land... It will just help... Uh, it will just help Duna. Because Duna is kind of hurting with... Um, public order and I really I really should just go and do it uh, this will help with growth and sanitation but we already have 15 growth anything like that I build here I can just automatically uh, go through and get it okay so we could spend money on that and get the Germanic archers plus the ammunition and missile damage which would be nice but I think I think we'll continue. Maybe I want. That would be nice too. This would be nice for the noble Germanic horsemen to be available. Yeah, I don't know. Um, let's go this route for now, and if something comes up, we'll switch. Uh, most likely, I want to I want to get the combat at, at distance. Pretty soon, this will be a long research time anyway. Right, so Mister, uh, before it's winter, let's let's get out of the fortification and uh, go down here. We don't have to go too close. I I don't have to force march because I can reach you next turn. See. Let's end the turn then. With the income of 3700, I should have enough next time to land my forces there and help out the region. It will make a lot of uh, homeless people happy because I'll be building walls and houses for them. Uh, public order will go up generally. <laughs> And we'll have more income from the town as it grows. So it's all for the better. Let's see. Looks like the small nations are going through and doing their thing. I do want to thank you guys for tuning in. I know that you could be doing lots of other things. Uh, but if you are enjoying my playthrough of this campaign, I... Appreciate it, and um, what can I say? Thank you <laughs> for tuning in. You can share this out with your friends if you think they would enjoy it as well. I'm uh, going be uh, between this and my campaign of the modded Napoleon game, Napoleon Total War. Let's see. 
Noble birth again. All right, that's good. Somebody ran out of office. Okay, so we have, let's deal with those guys right now. Let's see. You are. Uh, what can you be? Hmm. He's an admiral. Okay, so he can be an elder. Zoto is gonna be a judge. I thought I had him do something already. Lothar is there. Rainier could be a judge as well. This guy doesn't have enough influence. He is a companion. He doesn't have enough influence. And same with these guys. Okay, look at all the kids that uh, Gazler and Adelheid have. Let's see, they have some illegitimate dudes, those two. But then they've been busy here. Three-year-old, two-year-old, one-year-old, and just a newborn right now. It's kind of nice to see. Apparently, if you appoint generals as the... Uh, if you appoint illegitimate sons as generals, people don't want... or Soldiers don't like to be in that army. These guys really should get into making some babies. Well, they're just 18, so maybe, they, maybe they'll get to it. We need more branches, uh, I mean more leaves on our on our tree, not just branches this way. Or is that, is that, are these branches and those are leaves? I have no idea. Right. 11,000. Huh. That's like more than I was expecting to have. So it's gonna take 8,800 and... 10,000 or 1,000 men, not 10,000, that would be ridiculous. Alright, so can we, we can, we can make this a torp right away. And once that's done, then we can continue. We have a 1,000 we can spend. This is helping in public order right away already, because it uh, the forces this army being here, it's plus 17. Sounds really good. And I think I'm going to keep him here. The Huns could come in through that region or this gap or attack the Venetians. We'll wait. We'll wait and see. Uh, of course, if I need to, I can also move this guy down to here and use this force somewhere else. So, Okay, let's end that turn really quick. Not much more we can do with a thousand coin. Uh, last time we saw, or last turn we saw, the Britons move their forces away from our uh, province in Galicia, so we should be safe from them. Uburz is looking like a nice city. I like it. It's all like square. It's a fort fortified thing surrounded by a river. It's nice. Go away, Huns. Nobody wants to see your whatever you're doing, pillaging and raiding. We find you worthy oh. benefiting from our prosperity. Holy cow! They're at war with the whole entire world. Uh, so I think I think I should take. I think I should take the 3,000 coin. Um, yeah, they're strength ranking 1, so apparently I'm like nowhere near equal in strength with them, although I'm just strength ranking 2. So, um, if I do like, hey, how about we trade with well, that? No, that would... Oh, goodness me. I would be making a whole bunch more money. I'm not sure. No, that's money they're making. Um, yeah, that's the amount of money 
It's 321 for myself. I'm not sure why this is... Meh. That's the money they would be making. Alright. Uh, well, can I, like, not take this, but take that? No, I think... I think the payments... Payments is good. Moderate for 3300? Accept it. Alright. So I'm not sure what their plan is, but um, I even didn't read his name. I was going to say Flavius, whatever his name was, the, the emperor there in the Eastern Romans. Felt like asking for a peace treaty with me. And that's that's smart. I don't intend fighting them anytime soon. There's plenty of land here in the north, east and west. I don't have to go down south very much at all. So looks like Britain's gonna drive by and, and say goodbye. I might follow them with my own navy. See where they go. Mission failed. I have not built a religious building. Okay, so um, political gain. This man is hungry for power. I don't really know why this loses control if I do nothing and just let him get the uh, what is he trying to be? I mean, he's already something, right? I, I think I appointed him to be something. I don't know. I'll just do nothing. Killing balance of power has shifted as a result. Okay, what does it mean? Uh, political favors. I think we're going to appoint with political favors. He's got some, some stuff there. So the balance of power is over here and hmm. I think the tax rate has gone bad might affect our income but our income has skyrocketed for one reason or another it is it is winter we're having better luck with or better storage food storage um I could even build this sanitation building, which make will improve our food some more. I might do... I might do this. The salt works will... help. Well, let's see. Uh, definitely... Definitely could spend the money somewhere else, I think. Let's go over here. We can improve this guy, and we can improve this guy. Ooh, I don't have public order. That's crazy. All right, let's do the small city here, and let's do the. Uh, oh, that's not enough money. The farm that we kind of should get. Oh, it's in the city, so what makes more sense? Animals. I should also probably look at what it unlocks. I think we'll do pastures. Let's do that. What's this? A um a British spy. For the tribe. I mean I, I know I, I don't really want to be like not friendly with the British, but um they're over here unsure of what to do, so I'm gonna keep my eye on them. Right, so we, uh, we're doing good here. The public order is going to get turned around really quick. Just with uh, that army being there. And it's going to replenish in just another turn or two. Let's see. People have gained skills. He is a governor. Um, I think we're going to give him recruitment capacity. Yeah, might as well. Amand is an admiral. What's this? Zeal. Let's give him a point there and let's give him more ammo. 
Although I should probably shoot for the fleet commander. More ammo will be more useful right now before he gets another skill. And you're another governor. Uh, this is tax rate for governor province. Let's give him wolf and food and see if we can do anything for. It's just morale. He could have a military diploma. I don't know. We'll just leave it at that. Okay. Turn's end. Let's see what other surprises come to us. So I was going to say earlier that I am playing that modded Napoleon Total War, which uh, puts you in a World War Two, sorry, World War One era, two, I wish. <laughs> and... Um, it has a limitation and it's not perfect. Uh, for example, the faction I'm playing cannot get any navy at all. I'm uh, kind of confused of why that is. Even if, even if historically they didn't have a navy at the time, which I was trying to look into and couldn't find any real information. Whatever. I think I think that's fine. Um. So I'm playing as Romania, which is my home nation. Are you honest warriors who will come to brother's aid? Will you send your spears against these enemies? I don't know what, why you want us to do that. We just had a... I will join if you give me... No, I don't even think I should. I think I should just cancel it. How about I demand a bunch of money? Their financials are very strong, but I'm gonna ask for 10,000. No. I don't know why you have to fight those guys. You're like here. You're over here somewhere. Where the heck are you? Over here. So, like, who cares about the Eastern Romans? That's why I accepted peace with them. Right, so that campaign is pretty tough, but I'll, um, I'm going to keep playing it and hopefully get somewhere somewhere good, even without a navy. Who are you guys? Oh, Lugans. You guys in trouble or something? Uh, you have, you have disease. Oh man. Can't wait to upgrade all these. Make more cash. Which which is going to uh be cool. So I think I think I will definitely upgrade those salt works in a second if I don't need to spend money elsewhere. I don't need to spend money here. In the zone too. and this place can now can be demolished to build something later. How about Galicia? Just the military ports. Uh, local nobility is what? That one, which is 10,000. It would help with growth all around. Uh, we're yeah, I think I think we'll wait for money and get this. For sure. Or that. Golly, I want both of them. Uh, where did the Britons go? Oh, that was... That was murky waters. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just over here. Might have to take them back and, and the rest somewhere. For the tribe. Hmm. This doesn't have a port, does it? Or it does. No, it doesn't. It just has a walkway over the water. It should definitely have a port. 
like what's the point you have a you have all the shore here belgica and and uh and no port to be found oh boy okay let's do one more turn's end this hero which is unhinged oh he's a little garen pot short and stout but crazy what do you have here movement <clears throat> maybe you should get um None of these are gonna help your points. That's one to cunning, which would be nice. Any other, any of these other ones help your points? I guess not. Uh, let's give you a raid settlement. Well, this will increase. This will increase your um, authority. Let's see what this does. Uh, da -da -da. Oppress trap. Let's do increase the authority there, and I think that would have increased the zeal. So maybe we'll get this next time. And I don't know. You kind of have to get a point everywhere if you want to get down here, which is kind of like uh, kind of annoying. Or you could just go down one, three. Depends how long they live, how long they stay around. Do you know what the symbol is next to the to the wood? I guess that's present. Oh, oh the government the governor is there. That's right. It's like the capital of the local uh, or the heck, how should I know? Right, let's see. Okay, so this governor uh, go these cans, uh, where is it? Or yeah, see he's at Gotis Kanza, which if I go to the location, that's where he is. Although our faction capital is over here at Ascaucalis, the governor said at Gotis Kanza because that's kind of the bigger city. All right, so we didn't spend money anywhere, so we're gonna get this large salt works. Our Sanitation will hurt a little bit, but then we can we can upgrade. No, we can't upgrade that. Pulse. How do we not have timber? Oh, we don't. Okay, never mind. So hopefully we get timber. Let's do that. Let's do one more turn. Because they over in um, whatever the name of the town is, right there, Augusta. No, that's the Saxons. Darn it. One of those towns <laughs> towards the west. We have timber, but we just haven't built it yet. So, we want to secure that timber. We got peace with uh, Eastern Romans. Uh, the footage I did not, I'm not showing you guys because I didn't have my mic on. We had more trade agreements um, secured, and also peace treaties with the Britons and the Caledonians. Right there at, at Augusta Treverorum. I could just say Augusta and not worry about it. Or I could change the name of the city. But I'm not going to worry about it. Let's see, any other surprises? Anyone else want to toss money at me and want peace? Maybe. Torp completed. That's an oium. Uh, let's get rid of this. And then over here we can click on it and hopefully build. There's a go, there it goes. Prime, prime forest. Prime forest, people. We'll get us timber in just two turns. So we must build that. That's just that's just a must have. Okay, anything else? Rank gained. Uh let's look at you really quick. Uh it's the agent that's here with us. Give him campaign range. 
and um, let's see, he's got plenty. Oh my goodness, he's got this unfortunate parentage going on. Interesting. Maybe I can assault a foreign character better. Uh, that will give you more authority for military training, so let's do that. Um, replenishment rate would be better with this, so let's do that as well. Having kind of a utility person here. And it is winter, which means our butts are going to sit still for a while. We could spend more money. Uh, I don't know where to spend money. So I'll think about it. I think I should probably improve that for sure once we get timber available for the squalor here at the salt works to not cause disease since I only have two leftover sanitation. So this should set us uh, pretty well for the next episode. What's new? What, what what can we zoom on to to finish up? I think this... It's either this or the other city. I think the other city maybe it's better. The one that's got the timber. Yay! Oops, that's really not the, the button I wanted. So I do thank you guys for tuning in. Please do hit the like button and comment. Um, surprisingly, I listen... Or I read all the comments and reply to them. Uh, to the best of my ability as fast as I can sometimes my uh, notifications don't come right away saying that I have a comment so I, I, I get to it as soon as I see it um, share this out with your friends if you think they would enjoy it and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next episode our nation is growing we are the Burgundians and we're gonna try to take over the world as much as we can of course, I'm not going to make any promises. We still want to keep friends and allies and, you know, puppet states. <laughs> That's about it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.